know, Betty, this is yours. What's going on here? Oh. Oh, Pass the sugar ladder. Will you hand me the bread, Mama? Yes, Papa. Um, yes. There we are. That's strawberry jam. Yes. How about the celery? You like some celery? Thank you. Are you starting this all over again? <laughs> That's the best cup of tea you, you ever, ever made. made. Shakespeare. Longfellow. Needles. Pins. <laughs> Isn't that cute? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Daphne, look at the time. We must hurry or we'll be late for our bridge party. Oh, honey, you'll have to excuse us, but Mrs. Adelquist is calling for us any minute. Have a good time, Mama. I will, Papa. We'll see you before you go. Oh, lover. <laughs> That must be Mrs. Adelquist now. Let her in, darling, and tell her we'll be right down. Come on, Betty, come on. Come in, Mrs. Adelquist. A special delivery for Mr. Hyde. Oh, sign, please. Come in, Mrs. Adelquist. It wasn't Mrs. Twiddlepast. Not Twiddlepast. Paddlequist. Uh, Adelquist. Never mind who it was. Who was it? It's a letter for you. Oh. It's from my mother. What's she say? I'll find out as soon as I get my glasses. <laughs> my dear son, Arthur, I was cleaning up the attic this week, and in going through a lot of rubbish, I came up... Don't be rude. Now look what you've done. Take some hot water and clean those off. My eyes are getting worse every day. This letter's just a blur. Hurry up. Thank you. It's better. My dear son, Ollie, I was cleaning up the attic today, and in going through a lot of rubbish, I came across this picture of you and Stan and your twin brothers, Bert and Al. So I thought you would like to have it. Lovingly, Mother. Isn't that swell? Can you imagine that? Our very own twin brothers. I wonder where they are. Cha, cha, cha. <laughs> Seems like only yesterday. Which is you? Well, that's me right there. Huh. Look at me. Well, that isn't you. That's Al. Let me have your glasses. <laughs> you mean to tell me I don't know which is me? That's me right there. How do you know that's you? Well, I'm the oldest. You can sit down. Well, there's some more writing. Give me my glasses. <gasps> no wonder I couldn't tell which was you. Here, you read it. Dear Ollie, I forgot to tell you that after you and Stan left home, your twin brothers, Alf and Bert, turned out to be bad lads and ran away to sea. And I did hear they joined a mutiny on board one night and they both got hanged. Isn't that terrible? Let this be a lesson to you, mother. Hm. Isn't that calamitous? What a disgrace to our parents. <sighs> the poor father of been... Where are you going? I'm going to show it to Bubbles. Come here. But are you crazy? Uh-uh. 
If our wives find out that we had a couple of low-down brothers like that, they'd divorce us immediately. We'd lose our prestige in town and be ostracized by the rest of the community. Well, why would they... No! Shh! Why would they feel like that? Everybody has a black sheep in their closet. Nevertheless, don't you tell a soul about this, because if you do, we'll be sunk. If it's that serious, maybe we'd better burn the evidence. Then nobody, nobody will, will ever, ever know. know. Shakespeare. Look, not now. Yeah. <laughs> you got a match? Yes. We'll burn our past behind us. Come on, Betty. Oh, oh, oh. here. We'll come right down, Mr. Jackson. Hey. Oh. Oh, hello, dear. Who's Mrs. Abelson? Well, I don't know, sweetheart. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. How are you doing? Goodbye. Come along, girls. 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 Come Unload the livestock. We sail in the morning with the tide. Aye, sir. Did you get paid, Bert? I sure did. Well, as soon as we get through eating, we'll go ashore and have a swell time. All right. And come back broke as usual. Oh, I don't know. Aren't you going ashore, Finn? Yes, just as soon as I get through reading the paper. Any news? Yes. I was reading about a fellow that started with nothing, and in two years he was worth a million dollars. Million dollars? Huh. How'd he do it? A careful saving and wise investments. Just what I've been preaching to you two for years. If you'd let me save your money, you'd both be worth a million dollars like this fellow. He's right, Bert. You know, when we first came on this ship 15 years ago, if we'd had as much sense then as we have now, we'd have let him save our money for us, and today we'd have been sitting on the fat of the land. <laughs> Wouldn't we, Finn? Right. That's all right. But it's too late now. My lad, it's never too late. You were paid this morning, and now's the time to start. Why don't you let me hold it for you? You make the money, I'll invest it for you, and you'll be millionaires before you can say Jack Robinson. What did you say? That sounds swell to me. What about you, Al? It's OK with me, Bert. How about you, Finn? Why, it's a knockout. I think it's good, too. Yes, sir. And here's my money. That? Have you seen my money? I put it in here just a minute ago. Remember when you had your coffee there? I... Isn't that swell? Uh, now we're going to be millionaires. Uh, <laughs> Say, who's this fella Jack Robinson he's talking about? I don't know. So I never heard of him. Before. 74 bucks. Boys, I'm proud of you. That's what I call determination. We're full of it. The boys will have to have a little pin money to spend on shore. After all, it's all right to be careful. But we've got to have our little flame. Just to break the monotony. <laughs> <sighs> There's a dollar between you. A dollar? Well, we can't do much flinging on a dollar. Well, the less you fling, the sooner you'll be millionaires. He's right, Bert. Oh, yes. Uh, what about a receipt for our money? You're right, my lad. <laughs> I'm glad to see you've got good business sense. A receipt. <clears throat> I owe you seventy-four dollars. Mm. Just to make this binding, you two boys sign there. Betty. Hardy. Alfie Laurel. Sammy Connor. Thanks. Now, everything is on the up and up. Isn't that swell? Mm. There's one thing I want you to promise me. What's that? That you won't come and ask any of it back. You listen to this. When we make an agreement, it is an agreement. Yeah, what we want you to do is to promise us you won't give it to us back. I promise. Get me a cup of coffee, Alf. All right. Now we're going to get somewhere. I guess I'll get ready to go ashore. 
Any order, sir? Huh? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Send those two mugs Burke Nalf up here. Aye, sir. Hey, you swabs. The mate told me to tell you the captain wants to see you right away and make it snappy. Okay, big boy. We'll be right up. Come on, sailor. Goodbye, Finn. Goodbye. Oh, wait a minute. I've taken a look at Mrs. McGregor's on Tuna Avenue. If you're unsure of money, drop in and spend the afternoon with me. Okay. Thanks. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Barnum was right. <laughs> Now listen, this is what I want to see you about. I'm expecting a small package to be delivered to me here, but I can't wait. I've got to get over to the customs. I want you two boys to stay here, get this package, and bring it to me to Denker's Beer Garden. I'll meet you there about four bells. Aye, sir. You know where uh, Denker's Beer Garden is? Aye, sir. It's on 5th and 8th. Yeah, Caddy Corner between 6th and 7th on 9th. It's just across the way from... You know uh, where it is. Aye, yeah. sir. I hope I can rely on you to do this thing for me. Captain, you can trust us in Sydney. <coughs> well, I hope so, because it's a very important package. What's in the package, Cappy? None of your business what's in it. Go on, get out of here. And don't call me Cappy. <laughs> Could you tell us where... Uh, uh, pardon us, officer, but could you tell us where Danker's beer garden is? Sure. Just around the corner there. Thank you. <laughs> pardon me, officer. Me too. It's all right. What's yours? Say, we've got to take it easy. You know, we've only got a dollar. I know it. What are you going to have? Suppose we share the same beer. Then we won't spend so much money. That's a good idea. Garçon! Garçon! What do you mean, Garçon? Grogan's the name. What do you have? Well, I'd like a nice, large, cold flagon of beer. <laughs> What's yours? Bring me two nice, clean straws that haven't been used. I wonder what's in that package. Didn't you hear what the captain said? That's none of your business. Always prying into other people's affairs. Isn't that a pip? It certainly is. You know, that must have cost more than five dollars. What do you mean, five dollars? Why, if it cost a penny, it cost fifty dollars. cents for the beer and 15 cents for the straws. 15 cents for the straws? Well, you don't think we're giving them away, do you? Wait, could you exchange this for a couple of spoons? Give me those straws. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Oh, I'm sorry. Just a little accident. Oh, that's perfectly all right. Accidents will happen. <laughs> 
If I've spoiled your drink, may I buy you another? We don't mind if you do. Won't you join us? Oh, we don't mind if we do. <laughs> Thank you. Come, Alfie. My name is Mr. Hardy, and this is my very good friend, Mr. Lawrence. I'm glad to know you. This is my very good friend, Lily. How do you do, Lily? How do you do? And my name is uh, Alice. Alice. My mother's name was Alice. <sighs> Your mother's name wasn't Alice. That was her second name on my father's side. Hey, Joe, I want you to meet a couple of pals of ours, Mr. Laurel and Mr. Hardy. Well, I met them a little while ago, so what? Uh, two more beers for the ladies right away. I don't think we'll have any more beer. Oh, you must have something, Alice. <laughs> well, if you insist, I'll have an absinthe frappe. I think I'll have the same. You couldn't split one, could you? Well, what about something to eat? What have you got ready? Well, we got a porterhouse steak just coming off the fire. That's okay. And you? I'll have a lobster Newburg, mock turtle soup, a New York cut steak, well done, lyonnaise potatoes, broccoli with hollandaise sauce on the side, a head of lettuce with Rockford cheese dressing, heavy on the Rockford, coffee, a uh, demitasse, and I think that'll be all. Don't you want any dessert? Oh, that's sweet of you. Uh, a crepe Suzette. Make that too. <laughs> Excuse me, just a moment. Uh, will you pardon us? My friend wishes to speak to me in private. Go right ahead. We'll be right back. Let's go in there. We can talk private and nobody will hear us. What you want to tell me? What about them ordering all that food? You know, I've only got 75 cents. Don't worry about that. I've got it all figured out. We'll go over and see Finn and get our money back. Well, he won't give us our money back. You know, he told him. Oh, we yes, on... he will give it back. I know how to handle him. And besides, it's our money and we'll do what we like with it. Well, I thought we were going to start saving and be millionaires. We can we... start saving on the next trip. Now we've got a chance to have a swell time, so we might as well take advantage of it. You know, we only live once. I guess you're right. We can be millionaires any time. Any old time. Now, let's go back to the girls. Hello? Hello. Who is it? Well, it's me. What do you want? I don't want anything. What do you want? I don't want anything. You rang. I didn't do anything of the kind. You certainly I did. did. Put that back on the hook and get out of here. Hey! Would you chaps mind stepping out a minute? That call is for me. Hey! Stay where you are. I'll get it. Let me take a second. You know, I'm sorry to disturb you, boy, but this call is from the wife. You know, I have to tell her, I'm bringing home milk. Brother, we'd step out a minute. Oh, stay where you are, just be a second. Hello. Wait, wait, huh? I lost it. Where is it? Right, right here, sir. You won't talk along, will you? I was just a yeah, Listen, I'll bring it home. There. Wait a minute. Pardon me, will you? Yes, sir. Just a minute. There's a little, I don't know, it's slow trouble. Yeah. Oh. Hello. Just a minute now. I'll get this. Hello. Uh, all the way. Huh. I think somebody took the phone. Wait a minute. Hello, Sarah. Yes. Yes, this. How much? Just a minute. Hello. Oh, it's just a minute. Just, <coughs> just I'll pull the wire. I, oh, I lost it. Where's the thing? Where you got that thing? Did we get it? Yeah, you hurt? I'll get it. 
Hello. Hello. Boy, it's warm in here. Tisna, something's on the foot. Can you hold the wire? Wait a minute, man, I can't find that. That wall. Hello. Hello. Idea. I'm sorry, sir. Just a little accident. Yeah, well, accident or no accident, you'll pay for this. Uh, just put it on the check, please. Sir. Don't worry, you'll be on there. Come now. Hey, Joe, come here and give me a hand with this, will you, please? What happened? Did you get in a fight? Oh, oh, no, we were just having a little conference. Nothing serious, I hope. Oh, no, nothing serious. We've just decided that if you girls don't mind, We'll go to the ship and change our clothes and take you out for a good time. That's okay with me. <laughs> me too. But don't be gone too long. Oh, we won't. Hey, won't go away, will you? Because we're coming back. You bet we won't. Goodbye. Goodbye, Alice. We'll be back in a jiffy. Hey, where you guys think you're going? Shh. We're going down to the ship to change our clothes and get some more money. Some more money? Yeah, you see, we didn't have enough when we met the ladies. Uh, uh, yeah, yes, sir. And while we're going, see that the little ladies have everything their little hearts desire. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Now, don't go away, will you? We won't be long. Come on, don't get it, Danny. You're always fitting around. Just a minute. Do you think I'm such a sap that I'd let you get away from here without paying that bill? Now, you either give me that dough, or I'll beat you both up, or I'll have you pinched. Or maybe I'll beat you both up and have you pinched, too. Can't you make up your mind? But, my good man, don't you understand? It's simple. We're going to the boat, get our money, and come back and pay you. See? No, you're not. You ain't gonna leave here until you pay me that bill or leave me something for security. Why don't you leave him the ring? Then we get our money from Finless and come back and pick it up, and the captain won't be any the wiser. Splendid. <laughs> We've just figured out a plan. You like this? How about that for security? Isn't that a daisy? It's all right with me. Now, remember, when we go and get our money and come back and pay you, we get that ring back, right? Right. Right. on your mind. Well, we hate to disturb you, but we've come to ask a little favor. Now, what do you want? Well, we've just had the good fortune to meet two very charming and refined young ladies. Yeah, Alice and Lily. So what? Well, if you don't mind, we'd like to cancel our little financial arrangement with you and get our money back. Yeah, you see, we decided to put off being millionaires till the next trip. Then we'll start saying, well, if it's your money you want, I am not interested. Well, does that mean you won't give us our money back? I will not. But it belongs to us. Besides, we're going to have some money. We don't get paid till we get to Singapore. Not one penny of it will you get. I made a gentleman's agreement with you to protect you from yourselves. You wouldn't want me to go back on my word, would you? Well, we wouldn't mind this time, would we, Vern? No, no we won't hold that against no, you. No, you can go ahead and do that. Get out of here and don't bother me. Well, if that's the way you feel about it, we'll be forced to assert our prerogative. And search this room. Go ahead and search. What do I care? <laughs> You'll be sorry putting us to all this trouble. <laughs> it's no use you looking around here. You can search from now until doomsday and you'll never find it. Does that mean that it isn't in this room? I wouldn't say yes. And I wouldn't say no. You know what we can do? What? We can... We can 
can steal his clothes and we'll pawn them and we'll get enough money to pay the bill. We're going to give you one more chance. Do we get our money or not? Absolutely not. No! Oh! Oh! Come on, you know we've got to meet the wives. You stay outside, asking the pawnbroker if he had any second-hand ice cream cones. How much did you get? Two dollars. Well, that's not enough. Can't pay the bill with that. The girls are still... Don't open. worry about that. I'll take charge of this little matter. Come on. Say, maybe we'd better talk to Finn from a distance. You know, he's pretty mad when we left him. That's a good idea. Maybe he's asleep. I'll wake him up. Oh! No! We are back! Where's my clothes? We found them! What? And if you don't give us our money back, we won't give you the ticket! Yeah, and the ship will sail and you'll be left behind, see? All right. You give me the ticket and I'll give you your money back. You cross your heart? You don't doubt me, do you? Yes! Oh. We'll be right up! Oh. Now, here's the ticket. And that's the two dollars to get your suit back. Now, give us our money. I'll give it to you as soon as I can go get it. Where is it? It's sewn up in the lining of the coat you just pawned. Why didn't you tell us that before? Having us run around here on a wild goose chase. Give me the ticket, I'll go get it myself. Oh, no, you double-crossed me before. Once bitten, twice shy. Give us the ticket and we'll... I've get it. got it all figured out. Now, take off your clothes. What for? Well, the one suit I'll wear to get down there, the other suit I'll pawn to pay the interest on this ticket. Oh, no, you don't. Give me the ticket. Oh, well... Don't you come near me and I'll swallow this ticket and you'll never get your money. Now, give me that. Oh, 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 don't, oh, don't, oh, don't, don't swallow it now. Don't swallow it. All right, take off your clothes and put them down there. Put them down. And no monkey tricks. Well, here's another nice mess you've gotten me into. Oh, I could not. Hmm. Every time I think of it, I can What those girls will think about us. Hey, Finn! Are you coming back? I wouldn't say yes, and I wouldn't say no. Oh, and if I see Alice and Lily, I'll give them your love. Maybe I'll give them a kiss for you. <laughs> I wonder how much longer they're going to be. I don't know. Are you, Are you sure, sure this is the place they told us to meet them? 
Shakespeare, Longfellow. What goes up the chimney? Smoke. They make me sick. Oh, I darling. Oh, hello, 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 hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry we were late. Oh, that's we just got here. Hello, <laughs> Betty. <laughs> what are you boys been doing with yourselves? Ollie, tell her where we went this afternoon. Stan took me to see a Punch and Judy show. <laughs> <laughs> First one I've seen since I was a kid. <laughs> hey, how about something to eat? I'm famished. Oh, say, that's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> Why not go in here and have a bite? Oh, you don't want to go in there. We know a better place down the street. What's wrong with this place? We'll go in here. Oh, but dear. I said we'll go in here. Here. Come along, Betty. Ooh, this is a nice table. Sit here, Betty. Let's go in the garden. It's cooler out there. Oh, all right, dear. How's this table? Oh, this is nice. Yes. It's better than being inside. Well, of all the nerve. Well, you got here at last, huh? What do you mean, got here at last? We weren't coming in in the first place, were we? I wasn't. What are you going to have, Mama? A ham sandwich, mustard on the side, and a glass of beer. What would you like, Bubbles? Now, don't rush me, lover. I think I'll have a nice Welsh rabbit. One Welsh rabbit? With cheese. With cheese. What's yours? Uh, I think that I... I would... know what you guys are going to have. an awfully fresh waiter. Papa, what did he mean you got here at last? I don't know, Mama. We, we never, never met him before, before in our lives. Shakespeare, Longfellow. What goes up the chimney? Santa Claus. Silly. The Welsh rabbit will be right up, ma'am. Isn't that the way with men? Here we've known them all afternoon, and they pick up with a couple of perfect strangers. Well, they're not going to get away with it. Come on, Lily. Say, listen, big boy, I don't think much of your taste. Ditching us for a couple of old frumps like these. I beg your pardon. Do you know who you're talking to? Ah, uh, sit down, old lady, before you fall apart. <gasps> oh! Listen, cutie, I don't think that was very nice of you to walk out and leave us sitting here. I beg your pardon, madam, but just what do you mean? What are you looking so innocent about? I'm not so innocent. You bet you're not. And if you're as guilty as I think you are, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. No wonder you didn't want to come in here. Thank goodness I found you out in time. <laughs> oh, but I'll tell you that this is a frame-up. We've never met these women, have we? Uh-uh. Oh, you've never met us. Joe? Yeah? Who are these men? When they were here before, they called themselves Mr. Laurel and Mr. Hardy. That's all I want to know. Pay the check and let's get out of here. Yes, pay it. We've been waiting two hours for you to bail us out. Bye-bye, baby face. So you went to a Punch and Judy show, huh? Here's your bill. Fifteen dollars and sixty cents for this? No, 60 cents for this and 15 dollars for what you had in there before. Oh, the girl. Oh, pay the man. check and we'll argue about it after. But my darling, I said pay the check. You said pay the check. You better pay the check. Thanks. And here's the ring you left for security. Oh, so you're buying rings now. I suppose that's part of the frame up too. Betty, I've had enough. And as for you, you can see my lawyer in the morning. No, oh, lover, I don't see how you could ever have done this to me. I never was so humiliated in all my life. Oh, oh. Rest of beer, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, well, well. Fancy meeting you here. <laughs> Say, which is Alice and which is Lily? Alice and Lily? Why, are you sure you know these gentlemen? Why, they're buddies of mine. Say, where did you get the swell clothes? Clothes? <laughs> yes, the last time I saw them, they had no clothes on. They had no clothes on? Who is this man? I don't know, Mama. He's an absolute stranger to us, isn't he? He certainly is. Who am I? Well, uh, you. A stranger, eh? Oh, trying to make out they don't know me. Well, you take a look at that. 
what you've done. I don't care what I've done. Serves you right for not introducing me. Besides, they weren't so hot anyway. Where did you pick them up? Did you win them on a punch board? Do you know what I ought to do to you? No, what? I ought to bend every bone in your head. Is that so? Yes. Hmm. Uh-oh. Take a look through that. I'll be seeing you. Oh, don't go. Sit down. One Welsh rabbit. two girls. What do you mean, when did I meet the two girls? Well, you must know something about them. They knew us when we came in here. What said, are you talking about? You can confide in me. I can keep a secret. I wouldn't tell Will you Will you get this through that thick skull of yours that I don't know those girls and they don't know me? Is that the truth? Why, certainly it's the truth. Well, we should go back and tell Mama and Bubbles that we don't know anything about it and they've done us a terrible wrong. We'll we do nothing of the kind. I'm going to teach them a lesson. How do you mean? We're going to stay out all night, and we are not going home until they come to us and apologize. That's a good idea. We'll give them enough rope so we can hang ourselves. Hello, Hello buddies. What's the trouble now? Oh, we just had a little argument with the wives. Yeah, you see, they don't understand us, so we're going to teach them a lesson, aren't we, Ollie? Yes, and we're going to stay out all night. Yeah, till 9 o'clock. You know, that's funny. I'm in the doghouse, too. Well, well, we're all in the same boat. Say, let's all make a night of it. That's a very potent suggestion. All for, for one, one and one for all. Oh, Shakespeare. Longfellow. George Washington. What goes down the flue? A good slug of liquor. Right. <laughs> My head there. What's your drink? No more drinks. You've had too much, and you two guys haven't had enough. What do you mean we haven't had enough? Now, don't give me any of your lip or I'll throw you all out. Look through there. Is it four bells and all is still wet? 
Looks like Fenton isn't coming back. I told you that an hour ago. But you had to give me the argument about everything comes to him who waits. What do you think we'd better do? That's entirely up to you. You thought of a way to get us into this mess, and I'll think of a way to get us out of it. Well, the only way I can see is to go back and get the waiter. Take him over to the ship, have the captain pay for the bill so he can get his ring back, then we'll pay the captain on the next trip. Might be a little bit mad about That's it, That's but... a very, very, very good idea. But how are we going to get to the waiter? We can't go in the street dressed like this. Why, we wouldn't get the first base. Never thought of that. Hmm. Well, say, you know what? What? Why don't we dress up like those guys in Singapore? What guys in Singapore? The fellas that look like Eskimos. You know, the, the guys that walk around with rugs. Eskimos. Yeah, we could borrow these quilts and we could put some towels around our head and nobody would be any the wiser. We could go down and get the waiter. Mm -hmm. we... That sounds screwy to me. But any old port in a storm. Might you, be a good mm, idea. You've got to be right once in your life. I'm looking for a couple of sailors from the periwinkle, a little fella and a big fat one. Have they been in here? You mean the two guys with the pearl ring? How did you know they had a pearl ring? I saw it. They gave it to me as security and I gave it back to them when they paid their bill. Where are they now? Oh, I don't know. They got mixed up in here with a drunk and I threw them all out. You'll probably find them in some other joint or beer parlor. Thanks very much. Now, let me do the talking. Good evening, Mr. Grogan. Good evening. <laughs> it's possible you don't recognize us, but we're the same two fellas. Oh, again. yes, I do. What was the last thing I said to you two guys? Didn't I tell you to get out and stay out? No, the last thing you said was right, didn't it? Quit clowning now. What is it you want? Well, we've figured out a plan so we can get our ring back. Yeah, you see, the fellow wouldn't get Oh, it what are you two talking about? The ring. The ring we left with your security. Yes, and I gave you back when you paid your bill. You didn't give anything back to us. We never paid any bill. We what were... are you trying to do? Make me on a thief and say I stole that ring? That's the way it appears to us. You better get that. Shh. Look through that. Just a moment. trying to do. Oh. 
Sit down there. سيد شو عملت اخي العزيز حتى انت موجود هنا؟ شو عملت اخي العزيز حتى انت موجود هنا؟ انت تحكي عربي؟ What do you say? I don't. Do you speak عربي؟ Oh no sir. We're a couple of Singapore Eskimos. Oh. What's the idea? Sorry. Hey, Mr. Clerk, we'd like to see Judge Pope. It's very important. Would you please give him this card? I'll find out if he'll see you. Thank you. <gasps> oh, lover! Oh, Betty! <laughs> Betty! Oh. Thank you. Come on, Betty. Did you see that? I wonder who they are. I don't know. They're just a couple of vacation killers. Vacation killers? Yeah. A guy goes to jail for a swell vacation. These welfare workers pull things to get him out. They make me sick. Huh. First time I ever saw a welfare worker. Me too. Funny looking dames, aren't they? I don't know. I kind of like that big fat blonde. <laughs> Little one wasn't so bad. They're cute. And you see, Judge, it really is our fault. After all, they're members of your lodge. And if you're not too harsh on them, I think they'll behave in the future. I know my lover will. What do you mean? He's just as much to blame as Papa wasn't. Believe me, I think he's, he's not as bad. Don't you he's talk about, about, about my lover. No, 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 no. Don't worry. Everything's going to be all right. Now, if you ladies will step into that room for a little while, I'll have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with you. Oh, Judge, you're so sweet. <sighs> Now then, Harvey, step this way. <laughs> Where on earth have you fellas been? And how in the world did you get in those outfits? Well, you see, Judge, it was like this. We went well, to... you'll have to tell me later. I haven't time now. I've got to open court. I don't know what you boys have done, but whatever it is, I'm going to overlook it this time. But you've got to behave yourself and stop this gallivanting around. There's time and place for everything. Yes, sir. You have two lovely girls here. They've done a lot for you. Why don't you appreciate them? Will you do that? Well, whatever you say goes, Judge. We're entirely in your hands. That's fine. Girls, I've just had a talk with the boys. And I suggest that you all get together. Come on, boys. Give them a great fake kiss and let bygones be bygones. That's splendid. Well, see you later. Does that mean we have to come back here? Not if you behave yourselves. But my advice to you is to stay out of beer gardens. If you want to have a good time, go to a high-class place where you'll be less liable to get into trouble. Now, don't forget. Have you seen this one? <laughs> Not now. Some other time. We brought you some clothes. And as soon as you're dressed, we'll take the judge's advice. We'll go to a nice, high-class place and have a good time. And if you promise never to get into any more trouble, we'll forget all that's happened. Well, it's all right with me. Well, how about you? I'll do anything to get out of this place. Lover. Oh, come on. We'll meet you outside. Hey, listen, sailor. Lay off of the blonde. Well, I... I saw her first.
what our wives are doing. They're probably at home crying their eyes out. It serves them right. A table for four. Yes, madam. Come this way, please. Sorry, madam, there are no ringside tables. I'll have to give you one on the balcony. That's all right. What's the matter with him? I guess he's trying to get away without paying the bill. He can't do that. No, sir. You're not going to leave me Where's here. my hat? This it? Yeah, thank you. Quick. Whiskey and soda. Ooh! What's the matter? Say, now, you four guys, stay away from me. Well, we're not four guys. There's only two of us. Well, look who's here. Well, Alice! Well, what's the matter? We can explain everything. But they can't explain those two old cronies. They're not old cronies. They're a couple of old welfare workers, aren't they, Bert? Well, certainly. You see, we picked them. I'll tell them. Oh, don't give me that. But, honey, we can prove it. Well, sit down and have a drink. We will, as soon as we get rid of these two old battle axes. Yeah, we'll soon get rid of them. Is that we'll so? Oh, we want you to meet the two girls we met this afternoon. Yeah, Lily and Alice. I know all about them, you ungrateful hound. I'll fix you. You keep out of this, you startled ant. Ha, 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 ha. Don't. Oh. 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 Don't do it. Pardon me. Hey, you, give me a hand. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. This isn't his birthday. Nevertheless, many happy returns. Come on, Betty, this is final. What'd you want to go help her for? Well, I didn't know what she was going to do. That's right. You wouldn't. Get this off. That's what you get, picking up with strange women. Well, we got rid of them, didn't we? Now, you girls pardon me while I go downstairs and clean myself up. Alf, you entertain the ladies while I'm gone. We'll be right back, Alice. Say, after this, we'd better go home and see if our wives are sorry. Maybe Bubbles Don't will... worry about them. Let them worry about us. We're going to have the best time tonight we've ever had. Ah, three cigars, please. Sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. You have one? Thank you. Good evening. Where's that package? What package? That package containing the pearl ring. You've got that pearl ring, haven't you? I have. And what business is it of yours? I'll soon show you! Not just, just a minute. You'll have to lower your voices or you'll be put out. Remember, we cater to ladies and gentlemen here. All right, I understand. You double cross and swap, give me that ring. Are you trying to frighten me? Go ahead, little boy, and peddle your fish. <laughs> Want any more? Now, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. You take your hands off me. Take your hands off me. Be crazy. Stanley, go and get the manager and take that hat off. 
What? It must be Bert. I'll go and see. What happened? You know what's happened. Where's the manager? What manager? Beat it. Beat it. Did you get that? He slipped a ring in his pal's pocket. Yeah. It certainly was. Say, you'd better give me the ring back. It'll be safer with me. What do you mean? You didn't give me the ring. Yes, I did. I slipped it in your pocket when I told you to beat it. If I haven't got the ring, you didn't give any. What are you trying to do? Hold it back from me? Can you imagine that? My pal, my bosom companion, trying to double-cross oh, me? Excuse me, gentlemen. It's none of my business. But I saw him put the ring in your pocket. Why don't you give it up? What do you mean you saw him put it in there? I haven't got it. Pardon me for butting in, but may I speak to you alone? Well, sure. Pardon me. Would you like to have a scare it out of me? How? We can make out we're a couple of tough guys and pretend to take them for a ride. <laughs> what did you say? Why, these gentlemen have been kind enough to invite us for a nice ride. Would you like to go along? Well, I'd love to. But what about the ring? He oh, said, oh just my... forget that. I was only kidding. <laughs> I've got it right there. Well, why didn't you say so? You had me worried. Well, I as thought... long as you guys are going for a ride, would you drop me off at home? Sure. We'll be glad to drop you off. Thanks, pal. Well, come on, boys. Come Let's on, go. Man. Come on. Let's... Let's... Call a cab. Taxi. I hope it doesn't rain. seen him, have you? What do you mean you haven't seen him? You told me to beat it and he's been chasing me ever since. Do you mean to tell me that the captain is in here? What's the matter with you? That you saw the captain? He's mad as a bull. Holy bar. mackerel, we've got to get out of here. Cool. Oh, there you are. I've been looking all over town for you. What happened to your face? You know well enough what happened. If you think you can put mustard on my head and burn my nose and get away with it, you're crazy. What's he talking about? <laughs> Before, it was two to one. Now it's three to two. That makes it even. You must be Barney. We haven't seen you since... Barney, am I? At a boys. Oh. <laughs> Listen, dummy. You go that way and cut off the retreat. OK. Come on, Snuffy. <laughs> Fool, you didn't I? Snuffy,
That's the boss. We did a very good job getting rid of the cops. Stand by. Oh, this way, gentlemen. Say, what about our friend? You, you forgot to drop him off. Oh, he's asleep. Uh, we'll do that later. I want you to meet a couple of friends of mine. How do you do? How are you? This lug's got a very valuable pearl ring, and he refuses to give it up. No, you're mistaken. He's got the ring. Remember, Shh. It one of you guys knows where it is, and you'd better cough it up. I haven't got the ring. Shakespeare. N not now. All right, you crooks. If you won't tell us where it is, we'll have to give you the works. Go to it, Tiny. When you get the dope, you know where to find us. All Good right. Night. I thought we were going for a ride. Well, just a minute, Dan. Why should I sit down? But I want to talk to these men here. Sit down. All right, boys, mix up the cement. Sure. I'll be out, Tiny. What are you going to do? We're going to put your feet in cement. And if you don't talk by the time it hardens, we're going to throw you off the dock. Why don't you give him the ring? I have got the ring. Did they go? I don't know. They give us the slip on the last turn. We'd better get back to the ship. Let's stand there. <laughs> Good hard now, Tiny. All right, take him out. Okay. <laughs> Now, this is your last chance. If you don't tell us where that ring is, over you go. Well, we can't tell you where it is until we have How can we tell you if we don't remember? I can't tell Maybe you. this will help you remember. No. <laughs> Give me that pearl ring or I'll drown you like rats. We, we don't, don't know, know where, where it is. is. Shake 
like this. No, not now. Let him go. Pull him up again. Better give me another one. This is the last one I've got. Here's a box ball. Where did that come from? Never mind where it came from. We'll go find the captain and give it back to him. Come on. Oh, Captain, there's your ring. Oh, thanks very much. Maybe somebody's fallen overboard. Come on, help me pull him up. Did you see what I saw? Certainly. You know who they are? They're our twin brothers, Stan and Ollie. What are they doing? I don't know. Come on, let's I get them up. Get a hold. Gee, it's great to see you. <laughs> Hello, Stan. Hello, Al. What are you doing here? Mother wrote us and told us that you two were dead. Well, we just arrived this morning on the Periwinkle. That explains everything. They've been mistaken for us, and we've been mistaken for them. Why, say... <laughs> Let's go home and explain it to the wife. You're sure looking good, Stanley. But how you have altered. You've altered, too, but you haven't changed a bit. Has he, Ollie? He's just as... Come on, baby. That laurel is the dumbest thing I ever saw. The other one is, too. You're absolutely right, Bert. Neither one of them can see any further than the end of their nose. <laughs>